Elon Musk has been busy. He's a dad again for the seventh time to baby x 12 and recently made headlines with his company Neuralink and their much-hyped brain implant that promises a myriad of miracles. Hey Luxers, let's explore more about Neuralink, the brains behind the microchip, and everything in between. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Number 1. What is it and what can it do? Neuralink is a neurotechnology company that was founded in 2016 by Elon Musk. Based in San Fran, their goal was and is to develop implantable brain-machine interfaces. The thought process behind this concept was that the brain could be interpreted and manipulated in real time using technology. The device is a microcomputer chip that's implanted into the brain on a network of thousands of ultra-thin electrode wires. These wires pick up the signals the brain emits and translate them into motor controls. Initially, the person would be able to control a smartphone by simply using their minds, but the long-term goal is much bigger than just operating a mobile phone as we're about to find out. Number 2. Neuralink's brain chip is envisioned to cure anything. It hardly seems worth having your brain drilled into just to operate or replace your mobile phone. So what else can this brain chip achieve? Here's what Neuralink is said to be able to cure. Autism, blindness, paralysis, depression, memory loss, anxiety, insomnia, brain damage, seizures, strokes, hearing loss, addiction, and extreme pain. The Neuralink technology goes beyond that. With time, we could all be superhuman. Our vision would be incredible, we'd have telepathic powers, and we'd be able to listen to music right inside of our heads. Humans would be able to communicate with each other without uttering a single word, and communication would be lightning fast. Now this all sounds good on paper, but let's reverse back to the drilling into our brain bit. Number 3. It's suggested that the Neuralink brain chip can destroy surrounding cells when implanted. Some scientists believe that during the implantation process, surrounding cells could be destroyed. Cognitive psychologist Susan Schneider feels it's not the best idea to go about inserting technology right into our brains. In an op-ed for the Financial Times, she argued it could be, quote, suicide for the human mind, and that the worry with a more general merger with AI, in the more radical sense that Musk envisions, is the human brain is diminished or destroyed. Many people agree with her, but if there were no concerns about the actual insertion of the microchip, could humans be smarter than robots? Let's find out. Number 4. The chip could make us smarter than robots. Stephen Hawking once said, AI is likely to either be the best or worst thing to happen to humanity. Where would you slot the Neuralink microchip into, Aluxers? Best or worst thing to happen? There is speculation that the Neuralink microchip could make humans smarter or at least equal to robots, which many are applauding, especially with the fear that robots will eventually take over our jobs. We are seeing it in so many industries, even voiceover artists. But don't worry, Alexers, I'm not going anywhere. Let's lean on Musk's own thoughts about this. He voiced concerns in 2016 that humans could end up as house pets to AI unless we managed to connect our brains to computers. He continues to add that Neuralink would allow humans to compete with AI. As he continues, over time, I think we'll probably see a closer merger of biological intelligence and digital intelligence. Number 5. The Neuralink chip gives us much to think about. Hey Luxers, can you imagine somebody being able to read your thoughts? A crazy concept, right? This microchip is believed to be able to transmit our thoughts from one user to another. In August 2020, Musk showed off the new technology and while doing so, touched on the idea of consensual telepathy, which means that two people could communicate via their thoughts. Fortunately, it doesn't mean that everyone has free access to your thought process, but with hackers around, it's only a matter of time before that's a possibility. If you're filling your brain with only good thoughts and educational material, then I guess you've got no problem. And here's how you can retain all that educational material. Number 6. With time, you could recall a story with 100% accuracy. Imagine being able to read an article or study for an exam and be able to remember everything you read. With the Neuralink microchip, that dream could turn into reality. 
The microchip could make humans super smart, and one of the pros is having an excellent memory. However, the downside to that is it might be difficult to switch your brain off. Another factor to consider, tech can malfunction, so it can experience wear and tear and can simply stop working. So Aluxers, if you want the good, like anything, you need to accept the bad too. Jan LeCun, a professor at New York University, says, Our intelligence is what makes us human, and AI is an extension of that quality. Coming up, what do Three Little Pigs and Neuralink have in common? Stick with us to find out. Number 7. Musk has underestimated the length of time it would take to really work. In true Musk style, crowds have been razzle-dazzled with this exciting new concept. Neuralink is hoping to begin trials by the end of 2020 and promised a working demo by that stage. That being said, it's still going to be a lengthy process. Safety, efficacy, and years of testing will need to take place as there's no room for error. Scientists believe that Musk is completely underestimating the time it's going to take to get this off the ground. Words like fantasy land and science fiction have been thrown around. But they've probably never heard the wise words of Nelson Mandela when he said, it always seems impossible until it's done. Number 8. Musk didn't create this technology alone. He had a highly intelligent team behind him. Elon Musk, current CEO, founded Neuralink alongside Ben Rappaport, Dong Jin Seo, Max Hodak, Paul Marola, Philip Saves, Tim Gardner, Tim Hansen, and Vanessa Tolosa. Paul Marola has worked on more than 10 brain-inspired chips. These included Stanford's NeuroGrid and IBM's True North chip. Vanessa Tolosa, Neuralink's microfabrication expert and one of the world's best researchers on biocompatible materials. Max Hodak, founder of Transcriptic and current president of Neuralink. DJ Seo created a new BMI concept known as Neural Dust. These are tiny ultrasound sensors that can record brain activity. Ben Rappaport, a top neurosurgeon and Neuralink's surgery expert. Tim Hansen developed some of the core technology used at Neuralink. Philip Flip Sapes, Neuralink's senior scientist. And Tim Gardner was a leading researcher at BU before joining Neuralink. With a highly skilled and intelligent team behind Neuralink's microchip, it does give hope and provide vision for what could be a great concept if used correctly. But what about the ethical dilemma of the brain chip? Number 9. Ethical dilemmas, security, privacy, political, and legal issues all crop up. Aluxers, there's a huge fear about this kind of technology. Many states in the U.S. have issued laws stating it's not compulsory to have any form of microchip inserted into the body. For example, Michigan has an official bill stating that employers may not force their staff to accept microchip implants of any kind. So where does that leave the Neuralink microchip? Brain technology has the potential to change collective behaviors. It can convert an entire group of thinking to another, disrupt social norms, and create madness or mayhem. Brain hacking or mind jacking could happen, and we could find thought processes being controlled by an unknown. Could the chip alter our personality? Could it change our values or our beliefs? Could other disorders begin because of the new addition to our brain? And could there be a psychological impact of the actual surgery to implant the chip? Who owns the microchip? Sure, you do if you've paid for it, but what about the data? Who is allowed to access the inside of your brain? Where does the data go when you die? There are so many unanswered questions, questions that need clarity before anyone will volunteer to have a chip inserted into their skulls. Number 10. Startup Costs and Who is Investing? It was a strange start for Neuralink when Rolf Winkler tweeted, Funding round is still open. They likely won't have issues raising the full 100 million if they decide they want it all. Musk left a terse reply stating, Neuralink is not raising money. It appeared that Rolf Winkler, a technology reporter in the journal's San Francisco Bureau, had lifted the lid about Neuralink before Musk did, and there may have been some resentment on Musk's part. There are reports claiming that 12 investors have backed Neuralink, including six unaccredited investors. Currently, you are unable to buy stock, but in time, you would be able to purchase shares, which would probably cost in the region of $5 to $10 a share. 
The equipment is where the big money is spent, with the sewing robot, the machine that will install the chip, costing between 10 and 20 million dollars. But over time, that cost is reduced to 500,000. Now, let's have a closer look at this sewing machine. Number 11. The chip would be inserted with something similar to a sewing machine. In its most basic form, the microchip is installed by drilling a hole into the skull and inserting the chip and hooking up the wires. It's a high-risk surgery and even Musk admits the procedure is complex and not suited for human hands. This robot will create a 2mm incision, which will be stretched to 8mm. The microchip, also called the link, is then inserted using a microscope and needles so small you can barely see them. The robot is specifically designed not to touch any veins or arteries, and the whole process should take no more than two hours under partial anesthesia. The surgery is said to be, quote, as safe and painless as laser eye surgery, and the device is inductively charged. Number 12. The Three Little Pigs – Joyce, Dorothy, and Gertrude Elon Musk said, when something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. He's got more valuable lessons for us to learn and you can see them in our video 15 Business Lessons from Elon Musk. Musk might have realized the odds may not be in his favor, but he didn't let that stop him and his team from inserting a microchip into a pig and demonstrating how far the chip has already come. When Musk showed off his company for the first time in August 2020, he brought out the pigs. Joyce had no device, Gertrude had one that monitored neurons in her snout, while Dorothy had one put in and removed. Dorothy behaved like a normal happy pig, no problems. Great for humans if they want to take theirs out or upgrade. Gertrude walked on a treadmill and her limb functions and brain activity were all captured by the link. The team said there was great consistency between the predicted and actual outputs. Things of this nature will always have challenges. Let's see what Neuralink will be faced with. Number 13. Challenges that Neuralink must overcome One of the biggest challenges that Neuralink will face is to develop materials that are safe to insert into human brains without causing infections or deteriorating. The tiny chips need to read data quickly and have a high resolution so it's easy to decipher. We already mentioned some of the ethical and moral issues earlier, but Neuralink will also need to fix problems in-house. Former employees have spoken out about chaotic work culture, tight deadlines, and pressure to get results despite research being understandably slow. Number 14. Cost of the Microchip Aluxers, like any new development, the initial costs are always high. When interviewed about the price of a microchip, Musk was vague and reiterated initial statements. He felt that initially it would cost a few hundred thousand dollars, which would include surgery. Over time, he hoped the price would be on par with lasers or device electronics. Number 15. Rewind have you ever wished you could relive a memory, or maybe you're certain you asked your partner to do something and they deny it, and you know for a fact you did? With the link, you'd be able to replay memories. Musk said, we can save and replay memories. The future is going to be weird. Which leads us to today's question, Aluxers. Would you store and replay memories if you could? And would you ever consider getting a microchip put into your brain? Let us know in the comments. Now, for sticking with us until the end, of course, here's the bonus you're waiting for. The question everyone wants an answer to is who would willingly have this inserted into their brain? Judging by the overwhelming response by those willing to go to Mars, we think plenty. Anyone that has struggled with neurological disorders would understand how chronically challenging and exhausting it is. If a brain chip could potentially cure them, it's worth the risk for some. Keep your eyes and ears open because there'll be a time when human volunteers will be needed. And one last question to answer, can the link summon your Tesla? But of course. Hit the subscribe button for more videos every day, and as always, we appreciate your likes over here. Till next time, Aluxers.